Welcome back to the part two of the school bar. So we pretty much uh, read the constructor. Okay, constructor of the school bar said you can also initialize the horizontal and the location where you want to start at zero. Like in the color, we're going to when you move this, it's going to change from zero to two hundred fifty-five. So that's why we set min to zero and start from zero and max to two hundred fifty-five. Now this is just the it's called extends pretty much this the size of the button that you move here. Okay. Like if you make it bigger, it's going to go bigger. Like if I say fifty. So, let's say, all of them, say 100. Let's notice that if you see any difference. Mm. Like that, right? So it's get bigger. Okay. All right, so now we need to add the same like these are just like the buttons, right? That they need to listen to the events that when you move, right? When you move that extends button dot add adjustments listener new like this is just the same the interface, right? Adjustment listener as the interface. Right. And we gonna do anonymous right class. We can also do the same with the inner class like I showed you from the previous video for the ATM. Right, so now this is when you make changes. Let's print it out to test that can we see the values, right? So this should be I'm gonna name adjustment event E. That should hold the value, right? Get value and see what we get. Okay, so let's just run this first for one. See that? Just look at when I print out. So when it tests it changed to, right? Now it's not getting to 255 because the size happened to be 100, <laughs> right? That's why it's hit that, it's actually get to that. Because at the left corner is 0, right, to 155. Okay, so we may need to adjust this properly, right? So if you want to keep the size like that, we may need to adjust to a 355 and see what happened first. All right. Here you go. So we get 0 to 255 changing. See that? So if I do 0, 1, 2, 3, see? If you do click. Cool. So we get something. So this is going to be the same, right? Like I said, if you do the array, then you don't need to do one by one like that. All right, so scroll bar green dot. I just copy and paste pretty much. At adjustment listener. And we actually let me set up some variables to use, right? So we're gonna say private int red green blue. Then I when we're adjusting that we want to get the values, right? So the get value already returned the int. So I'm gonna say rate right e dot get value. And we don't need to do system dot out anymore. We very much know that uh, I have to say equals, right? Not parentheses. So that's going to be the same for this guy, which is going to be green. And 
last one is blue so just copy the same code like I said when you do copy repeating like this you better use the radio functions to help because we are repeating and blue right use the loop so we get all the red green and blue now the only thing that we want to change now is what the color of your text which is your label here so after we get that we may want to where is the label right here right so we gotta say label dot set color set foreground color right and then new color and pass rate green and blue because color class beside using the constant you can also set through the constructor like that okay let's see what we get okay it's, it's not changing we have to fix something around here too right so we set the foreground color but remember this this we have to keep refreshing that text right so when you do event you have to make it listen inside the event too you cannot have it outside right because at the time you adjustment you update adjustment you update so <clears throat> then it has to be inside the event there you go that's cool so when 255285 does green when all zero that's black right if you want it to be red only right green only or blue right so that's how it works now let's do set the frame size and set the title All right, the title has to be this frame size to 300 and 200 this is under frame itself so we pretty much did all the frame here so set title and instead of using pack you can set size new dimension 300 comma 200 import dimension class all right so that we set dimension test the program foreground revise the program using now you have to do the j slider okay and you can just look at the j slider java doc here and it's pretty much the same right if you look at the constructor same orientation mean max and the values okay and just do add chain listener instead okay now do the comments and then you should be good so let's uh, switch back to our code a little bit and see the changes so what happened if I want to make the text to be center now it's not center just like the way that we show on the snapshot and the size of this guy right it's just not appropriate so because we use grid layout that's why it looks like that okay so so what we're going to do we're going to try to control the grid layout 
by using set columns, set gaps here, horizontal gaps, set rows, and set vertical gaps. All right. So in order to do that, you need to create an instance like the name, like this one. We didn't give the name to that, so we cannot get access to a method. So let's say create layout and say equals to new grid layout and now we can just say grid layout right to the panel but now this is a key that's why I need to instantiate it because I want to get to set column so the size of the columns row okay column let's say about the width of let's do 300 okay we set the width of the frame to uh, 300 and 200 maybe 280 and set the roads set rows to 30 maybe 50 and we can set the gaps too right but let's see what we get from here like that right it's just too small <laughs> so we need maybe let's see what we get from 250 set columns let me just do set column what we get okay so actually set row is pretty much just control the number of rows and set columns control the number of columns so that's not going to work so we're going to try to use the set vertical gaps okay so let's see what we get first there you go we start to have gaps right now if I do the set horizontal gaps okay like if I make it more columns 6 right I mean more rows and insert every other rows right instead and set the vertical gaps that's between each of them maybe this will help to three rows and make bigger gaps okay it's too big let's say like 30 there you go squeezing it right but that's 30, 30, right? So, so I would recommend you to go to the Oracle website, okay? Or you can Google keywords, swing layouts, and first link. It's gonna show you many way how to control the layout. So for our assignment earlier, we just do the grid layout, border layout, and flow layout. Like example of spring layout that I'm going to show you here, which is it's not required on the assignment, but I just show you how to control things. Okay, so let's look at this. This is pretty much just going to show you how to use spring layout with the label and text field. So we create label and text field and the size text field 15 you can say hey I want to put a label right in different locations right west of the content pane so that's the west right on the left side and to the north right west and north 
and then I can say text field is going to be to the west of the label, to the east of the 